This stiff yet bendable material is made from a film of aluminum oxide only tens of nanometers thick. The engineers at the University of Pennsylvania who made it call the material nanocardboard. Like corrugated paper cardboard, nanocardboard is a sandwich structure. It's composed of two sheets called face sheets made of aluminum oxide with webbing in between. The webbing is also composed of aluminum oxide. This construction makes nanocardboard strong. In fact, it's more than 10,000 times as stiff as a regular old piece of aluminum oxide with the same mass but without the corrugated geometry. To make this nanostructure, engineers couldn't simply glue the face sheets to the webbing the way regular cardboard is made. A layer of glue would be far too thick to maintain the material's nano dimensions. So the engineers borrowed a technique from collaborators at UPenn's Singh Center for Nanotechnology. The team started with a silicon template with holes and coated all of its surfaces, including inside the holes, with an ultra-thin layer of aluminum oxide. The researchers then cut the template to size, exposing the inner silicon core along the edges where they made their cuts. Finally, they etched away the silicon using xenon difluoride vapor, leaving a translucent shell of aluminum oxide with a network of webbing in between the top and bottom faces. Unlike paper cardboard that creases and weakens when bent, nano cardboard springs back into shape after bending. The team expects production could be scaled to 6-inch wafers. The group envisions the material being used for a variety of applications that require stiff, low-density structures, such as the wings of ultralight microflyers. And the nano cardboard has another interesting ability. When exposed to light, it levitates. The researchers think it's because heat from the light creates a temperature difference between the nanocardboard's top and bottom, pushing a current of air molecules through pores in the material. They plan to explore this phenomenon more in future work.